Okay guys, I got a uh, new product coming out at gatorboard.com. Okay, you know the cement rail slides I have, you know, um, you know, I sell the cement rail slides by themselves, but I have a new way of making them so you can make uh, multiples. You can make more than just one, and you can have more than one, but you're going to have to make them yourself. It's going to come with this plastic piece right here. This is a, this is a, um, this is kind of like a mold, and what happens is you're going to take the cement, you're going to mix it up and pour it inside here. Okay, just like these are laid down, there's little plastic paper cups underneath all these. Yeah, I'm going to go over it all, but I'm just going to show you the basics because uh, I think you have to see it first, and then when I go through it, you guys will understand. Okay, so anyways, you take uh, you take this plastic, this mold, and then you turn it upside down, and you pour the cement inside the mold. Okay, and then once the cement cures, you can take you can take it, turn it over, and then you get your cement rail slide. Is that awesome? That is awesome. I was like, dang, that is so nice and so easy. It's really easy. That's the nice thing about it. Okay? So anyways, uh, let's see. Let's go through Let's go through the process on how to do this so you guys know. But anyways, I'll show you all three. This is, the, this is what it is. It comes in a hard, nice plastic. It's made out of PETG plastic. I, uh, I do it myself in the shop again. I try to do all my stuff in the shop. So it's all U.S. stuff. Um, anyways, this is what one of the uh, plastics uh, slides will look like, cement slides. Okay, so what you're gonna need, you're gonna need some cement, and the cement you get, uh, I get, I get the cement. You can get it at any hardware store, and it's uh, the molding cement. It's the uh, it's the cement that they use for making uh, molds. You know that you put it. It's a it's kind of a special cement. It's with all the cements. It's just one that's already combined, and it sets up in like. 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Now that doesn't mean you can pull it out in 15, 20 minutes. That means you just it sets up and it gets hard, and then in about an hour you can you can take it out of the mold and boom, you got yourself a uh, you got yourself a, a uh, cement rail slide. Now, nice thing about this is if you're nice to it, you'll get more than one uh, cement thing out of it. I'm not sure how many because it's brand new. You probably get a ton if you're really nice to it, and then uh, you can go ahead and make them. And have as many rail, cement rail slides as you want. Okay, and you can make them and sell them and do whatever you guys want to do. Go ahead and uh, let's take this one out. Let me show you what we have to do. Okay, so when they dry, you take it out, and then you, you have your little slide, which is uh, really strong and really cool. Okay, now it will have uh, little nicks in the side sometimes. This one doesn't. Oh, it does right here. I don't know if you can see that, but they're little nicks, but you know, it's cement, so you're going to have some nicks. Uh, okay, so first thing is you get your, you pull it out and see this, uh, res, this, this, I don't know what it is, this film that leaves on it, it's cement film. Okay, you, you need to try to get that off, okay? And the way I get it off is you can get denatured alcohol, it's denatured, it's called denatured, and you just take a paper towel, you put it on the paper towel, and you just rub it. You just rub it until it all comes off. Okay? So, so you rub this down. And get it as uh, clean as you can. But the thing is, clean it. Get all that uh, stuff off. It comes off pretty easy. I mean, it's not that hard. Okay? Alright. Let's see. Try to get it all off too. The, the cleaner you have it, the better looking the, uh, the cement piece will be. Okay? And remember that's denatured alcohol. So use the denatured alcohol. And this is, this is actually really easy. This is easy. And, it, and it's light so I can ship it. So it'll, it'll be easy to ship this instead of cement. So it's really light. Okay, so anyways, there's our mold. That's pretty good. So you, you get it done, get it like this, get some paper cups or cups or something to put underneath these little flaps, set your mold down, okay? Get your cement, I just poured some cement in here, okay? And then you uh, take some water, put some water in there, get your uh, dad's drill or if you have a drill, get your drill. I stick it right here and hold it with your feet. 
make sure you get enough water in there. You want it kind of, uh, not, not really, you want it kind of easy to pour. I'll show you in a minute. Let me get this. Okay, and that's it. That's how you mix it, and it's kind of, see, it's kind of a little soupy kind of. That's fine. That's actually pretty good. One thing, before you uh, pour the cement in, before you pour the cement in, get some uh, Minwax. It's uh, it's with the stains, and it's called, uh, uh, what's it called? It's called Pace Finish Wax. It's just some kind of wax film. Uh, you can probably use any kind of wax film, really. You could probably put even a, um, a spray release in there. But what I recommend is that you, uh, if you want to use it a couple of times, and or if you want to keep on using it, just take some uh, wax, put it on there, just rub it in there because you're going to rub it right back out. So rub it in there, make sure you, uh, you know, just get it in there. All right. Okay, once you get the wax in there like that, get a dry piece. Take it. Whoa. It's a little windy. Take a dry piece and then rub this rub the wax out. Okay. Set it back down. Find your cups. And put them back under there. Okay? Now I still have a little bit of time, I hope, with this. So now I have to redo this because this stuff's up. Make it a little more soupy just to make it. Okay, this stuff does set up quick though. That's why you have to do this kind of fast. And then you put it in there. Just pour it in there. Okay, pat this down. It's just like cement, you know, you just take your little tools and pat it down. Now, take this guy and hit the sides. Shake it, shake it until everything goes flat. Okay, when it goes flat, you're good. And you want to hit it, and you, and you shake it to uh, get the air bubbles out. Because there'll be, air, there'll be air bubbles in there too. You see these, these little bumps right here? I don't know if you can see them, but they're air bubbles. So you, you smack it a couple times until you don't see any air bubbles anymore. Then shake it around again. And just shake it until it's nice and flat. Okay? And the nice thing is clear, so you could actually look underneath and see if there is any more air bubbles. Okay? All right, so we'll leave that alone. So anyways, this, this is what you get. This will be the final product out of this one. This right in there like, like that, and they pop out. So I'm going to be selling this piece, this plastic piece, but, uh, and I did these two just to show you guys. I don't want flying away cups. Just to show you, flip them over and they fall right out. This is the, uh, the slanted one. And this is the, my little tabletop one. And, and, it, and this one is a little tight. You just drop it to the ground and boom, it comes out. And there you go. Now you got a nice... And it's smooth too. Everything's nice and smooth. You got a little couple nicks, but air bubbles, but you know, they, they ain't gonna hurt nothing. Okay, so let me see, did I cover everything? Okay, um, I think I covered it all. Okay, so anyways, this will dry and set up and let it dry completely, okay? It only takes like, takes probably an hour or two to dry completely and then you can flip it out and then you gotta then you have to clean you gotta get this this stuff out of here okay clean it off with some denatured alcohol that'll rub it out easy and fast you won't have to get down there and grind just get some denatured alcohol take some paper towels and rub it out and then you're ready to pour it again so and I don't know how many this is I don't know how many I poured but I poured a couple at work and in this one so I'm probably on number 
four or five, so there's five to one mold, and I know I can keep going. So as long as you don't hurt the mold, you just keep making them, okay? So let's go over everything you're gonna need. One more time. Okay, you're gonna buy the mold from Gator, gatorboard.com. It'll be a piece of plastic like this, or, or it'll be this one. I'll have three, these are the three different ones I have right now. So we'll have three different ones. And so you have to get that, then you're gonna have to go down to the uh, hardware store and get yourself some uh, quick drying cement, which is, uh, and then just look on the package, it usually says used for molding. And if it's used for like molds, then this is it. This is the stuff, and it, and it kicks in like 15 minutes. Um, it's easy, unless you know how to mix cement. If you know how to mix cement yourself, then go ahead and use the regular cement. But I like the stuff that goes fast. I like getting it done and being done with it. And then, uh, and then uh, where's the wax? Oh, okay, so plastic finishing wax. It's by Minwax, and uh, you can find it by the stains in your hardware store. Works very good. Okay, you're going to need a drill too, and then a, uh, a little mixer on the end, and some paper towels, and water. Okay, that's it. Hopefully I said everything. Um, I'll be selling them on the website at gatorboard.com. So uh, good luck to you.